For this second video, I'm going to discuss importing video clips into the media browser and organizing them into bins in order to start working on projects. To do that, I'm going to first start by creating a new project. Uh, I am not going to save changes to my existing one. And I'm going to set a name for this project. I'm going to call it Test Project 2. And I want to set a location for that. So I'm browsing my computer and I'm finding on the computer the extra drive. I don't want to put it on the C drive. I want to have it on the E drive. So I'm clicking the E drive and finding folders that I want. Uh, I have a video folder here and I have a projects folder and I'm going to save it to the projects folder. As far as these are concerned, we want to use video and rendering playback. Set it to the GPU accelerated. Um, the graphics card in these computers is good enough to, to use to actually help. On scratch disks, make sure everything is set to same as project. And then in just settings, we can leave alone for now. Click OK. And we have a new project that has nothing in it. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to import media into this to start off with. So to do that, I'm going to go to File, Import. And what I want to do is I want to go to the E drive and I want to go to my video clips folder and find some video clips to import. I'm going to import this whole folder. So if I back out of here and click on this here and then hit Control A on the keyboard, every one of these clips gets selected and I'm going to open. It's importing them and as soon as it does that I get them all here in the panel called the media browser. Now when I look at this media browser you're going to see all of these as thumbnails but if I back out to my project you'll see them they're not as thumbnails. We can change that to thumbnails down here by clicking on this little icon view. This makes it a lot easier for us to see what we're looking at. If we double click on any one of these it will open it up. If we're in the editing workspace it'll open it up in the source monitor where we can play, we can look at, we can set in points and out points on these videos to figure out what we want to do. Before we even do that though, what you want to do is you want to get in the habit of organizing your clips. As you can see, I have a lot of clips. And if I want to, I can stretch this larger so that I can see more of them. And I can go down here and make them smaller or larger by dragging this little slider over here so that I can see them. Cool thing about this project panel is that you can just move your mouse left and right over a video clip and it will show you what each of these clips are. Now before I begin what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by creating a folder. This is called a bin. It looks like a folder icon right here. I'm gonna create a bin and I'm gonna name that bin something. So for instance in my videos I have from different cities I'm going to name one of them a city that I went to, so I'm going to call this one Santiago. Now, if I go through and select every video in my list that is from Santiago, I can simply click and drag them in here, or I can click and hold control on my keyboard and control clicking more of them will highlight more than one of them. Dragging it in and now I have eight items in that folder. Getting in the habit of organizing your clips into folders is really really important because it's going to help you to find 
certain clips that you're looking for quicker and easier. It's going to make managing your larger projects a lot easier. Again, on this panel, this is my project panel. If I click in, if I double click to uh, go into this folder, one of the things that you'll see is that it actually opens a separate window. And sometimes that's okay, but a lot of times that just makes your interface a lot more clunky. So what I suggest doing is holding control while double clicking and what it'll do is it will open this inside this window. By doing that, what you're going to see here is you're going to see little breadcrumbs that indicate that I'm looking in my test project folder and inside the bin called Santiago. And that's what I have here. To back out to see all the other videos or if I had more than one folder, you hit this little up arrow here and it backs out and shows you all your other videos and the folders that you have organized in there. Again, folders in this program are called bins, and we want to create those to, um, to help organize all of our files.